Sammy, remember when I said we should trade Monroe for a small forward? Yeah. Well, forget about it. Why? Does Monroe want to stay? I didn't say that. Damn it, coach. Sorry, but you know who we should trade him for? Who? Rajon Rondo. Would you get this Rondo thing out of your head? Boston's gonna try to sign him to a long-term deal this offseason. A trade like that wouldn't happen till next year. Any other point guards available? No, there aren't. You're gonna have to deal with Jennings. Well, fine. Then who are some small forwards we can trade Monroe for? Well, there's ones that I've mentioned before. There's Jeff Green, Andre Iguodala, and Luol Deng. So, uh, what do you think of Green? No. What do you mean, no? He does exactly what we need. On paper, yes, Green would work. But the last thing I want to deal with is a guy who will score 25 points one night and 5 points the next. What are our chances at Iguodala? I'd say pretty low. He was the Warriors' big acquisition this offseason, and I doubt they'd give him up that quick. Plus, we'd probably have to take on Andrew Bogut. Well, I'm not looking for an injury-prone center, so, um, what about Luol Deng? Problem with Deng is he's making 14 million. We'd have to throw several players into the mix to get the salaries to work out. Probably be better to get him in the offseason. Okay, anyone else? There's a uh, Wilson Chandler with the Nuggets. Hmm. I've always liked Chandler since his days in New York. He can finish inside, he grabs rebounds. I would say he is more athletic than the average wing player in the league. And he definitely has the jump shot that we're looking for. You know what, Sammy? I really like the idea of Chandler on this team. Get Denver on the phone, see if he can make it happen. Okay, but quick question. Yeah? What's the plan until Monroe gets traded? Well, luckily he's being a professional about all this. Monroe's playing hard and... We were able to get a good win against the Bucks. We beat the Pelicans back at home. And even though we lost to the Mavericks, Monroe isn't disrupting the team, so I think I'm just going to keep everything the way it is. Well, fair enough. It's a good thing Monroe's being mature about this whole thing. This would suck if it was with somebody else. Come on, Josh, you got the lane. Go, make that. Oh. That's your favorite thing to do, isn't it, Josh? You get right into the paint, you make it look pretty, and then you just miss. Ugh, God. Oh, get that. Get the ball. Oh, you guys, it was on the ground. Get it. Thank you. Good Lord. Chauncey's ball handling? All right. Oh, this is a mouse in the house. Come on, Drummond. No, Drummond, stop toying with him. Just go. Oh. Come on, man. If you if the guy on you is like two feet tall, you just gotta go with it. Well, coach said he's not changing anything, but Monroe isn't playing late in the game, so come on, Brandon. Ah, it's not the first time you've done that, Jennings. You got oh, backcourt ref. Come on, that's not a backcourt. Speaking of a mouse in the house, there's no way Jennings can defend Harris. Luckily, Harris didn't realize what he had for himself. He should have just drove to the rim. Oh, come on. Don't let him spin in the paint. Get it. Oh, what? Ref, are you si that? Ooh, these ref... Mmm. I'm going to bite my tongue right now. There you go. Ball don't lie. Ball don't lie. Come on, Afal. You ain't going to make it. Ah, you got one. All right. Come on, coach. I imagine you're going to want to take this all the way down and then just get a good shot. It's a tie game, so we don't want to give them an opportunity. Is he going to stick with Gibson or is he going to go to Monroe? I, mean, I know the guy wants to get traded, but he can still ball, you know? There he's going with Monroe. It's a nice move. Okay, Chauncey. I don't know what you want to do here, coach. I'm, I'm going to trust you on this one. I hope you just take it all the way down. Yeah, it seems like that's what he's going to do. I'm surprised he even has Jennings in the game, the way he's been talking about him lately. Pick and roll with Smith, okay. Come on, Jennings, find him. Josh, finish that. Yes! That's a good play. That is a very good play call, coach. I got to give it to you on that one. That was beautiful. That's a scary pick and roll, Brandon Jennings and Josh Smith. Now come on, don't don't rip this from my heart now. Don't do me like you did me against the Knicks. Come on. Oh crap, Drummond, you left him open. Ugh. Ooh, Drummond, you ooh, you almost had me, but we good win, good win. 
Sammy, how's the Chandler deal going? It's pretty good. There's just one thing. What's that? Well, Denver's got a lot of big men, so we would have to take back JaVale McGee. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm looking at you like this because I'm not paying a guy $10 million a year to come off the bench. So unless you can get McGee out of the deal, we're not trading for Wilson Chandler. Well, you got a point. Okay, I'll keep looking. So what happened last night against Atlanta? Sammy, we've been a 500 team all season. We're just sticking with the status quo. Now, are there any more options in the Monroe deal? Yeah, there's two. The first one's a safe bet. Nicholas Batum with the Blazers. The other one's a bit more of a risk. Gordon Hayward. I'd say Batum is the better player right now, but who knows the ceiling that Hayward has. Those are two good names, but I'd prefer Batum. Don't get me wrong, Hayward's a good player, and I'd like him to be our plan B, but Batum, he can make plays for his teammates, he's a good defender, and he's got that outside shot. Okay, I'll call up Portland. 